So let's say you have been assigned to a particular project and there is no one to give you KT at all. Okay, so there is no documentation or there is no person available in your specific dev team to give you KT at all. Or let's say you are the only person or only dev person in the team and you don't have any KT at all. Okay, so in these steps, how we can approach to a project and how we can resolve that particular project, that's what we are going to look in this specific video. Okay, so let's get started. So one of the most easiest way to get a KT about the project is that you reach out to a QA member. Okay, so as I already approached, this is for the person who has no dev team member or dev team members are not responding at all. Okay, and they are not giving any KT at all. And if you still want a KT, okay, because usually we want a functional and uh, functional and uh, technical KT, right? Tech KT as well. Usually uh, people are looking for this kind of things, right? So usually a tech developer or developer can give you both of these KTs at once itself. And this is what usually a developer is looking for. But let's say that developer is not responding or you are the only single person. Then in that case, first things you can do is you can reach out to a QA team member. A QA team member who has at least eight months of experience in this project. Okay, at least eight plus months of eight or six months is also fine. But I prefer eight months of experience in the project. Okay, who understands not completely, but understand at least the flow of the project. Okay, because see these QA team members test regularly. Okay, they do test and they do test end to end flow. Okay, so they know where to upload the file or where does the overall flow start, which record gets created and what things are happening at the end. Okay, they do all the kind of testing. Okay, the testing, the basic testing and the advanced testing, all the types of the testing they are doing. So that's why they are familiar with the flow, familiar with the business flow. Okay, so from at least from the QA team, you will get the functional KT. Okay, functional KT will be surely provided by the QA team. He will tell you most probably QA team usually helps in these conditions. So they will at least give you a functional KT from that you can understand at least what kind of business scenarios we are going through, what kind of flow it is. Okay, and from there, what you can do is you can backtrack or reverse engineer the components used to build that thing. Okay, from there you can understand. Okay, there is an LWC component, there's a button, there's an APIX code, or vice versa. So, from there you can at least understand and now look into the code every day to try to understand what exactly is happening in terms of technical KT. Okay, and prepare a document as well, okay, which will be helpful for you throughout your career. But for now, you at least get a functional KT from a QA team because as a developer, you need two things. Uh, that is functional KT and dev KT or technical KT, right? So functional KT at least will be solved by the QA team. Okay, so they will give you a business flow and from there you can reverse engineer and understand things what exactly are going over there. Second condition is let's say QA team is not responding or there is no QA team. You are the developer and you are only the QA. Now this is where you are in a very difficult situation, but still you can find a glimpse of it okay i mean you can at least resolve it by using some points from here and there now this approach is not very foolproof okay but this helps a little bit a little bit at least it will take you one percent near your goal or one percent near the project okay in this case what usually you can do is you can understand what cloud you are using at least you will surely know which cloud you are using you are using service cloud or sales cloud or let's say fsl cloud or any other cloud that you might be using Okay, try to see which cloud you are using over here. Okay, and then you can study the cloud as well side by side. Okay, so let's say FSL, if you are using FSL uh, cloud in your project, then at least study the FSL cloud, which are the objects and which are the flows and what exactly the FSL solves. That's what try to look into it and then look for the customer which you are working. Let's say I was working for Amazon and we were using service cloud. Okay, so we are using service cloud. And our customer is Amazon. Now it's very, very simple to understand that we are trying to solve the customer's problem. Okay, so that's why we will use service cloud and here case will be the primary object and the overflow will be starting from case object itself. Okay, so not hundred percent, but at least now I know what's happening in my project. What is the overall picture in my project? Okay, we are using service cloud for Amazon company. So most probably service cloud is used to service the customer, and Amazon has 
B2C customers or even sometimes B2B as well. But B2C customers and we need to provide a service to them. And service means object is nothing but the case. And from there the case gets created. It goes to the omni channel and all these things. Okay, so from here at least you can get a basic idea how exactly and what exactly you are trying to do over here. Okay, you get a functional overview, very small overview. And from here now you can sit in calls. Okay, usually we have a grooming call. Okay, by customer or by BA team. Okay, so we have a grooming calls, and from there you can catch up what exactly they are trying to see. Okay, you have to connect the dots over here. It's a bit difficult and not a foolproof way, but at least if you have no point, no option at all, you can at least do this, right? So you can understand what cloud we are using, and from there try to find the customer which with we are working, so that you can understand the overall picture how what we are trying to solve, and then sit in the calls, grooming calls, and there you can at least get functional KT. Okay, again, you will get a functional KT. In all these conditions, you will only get functional KT. Don't expect a dev KT. Okay, if you are going through any of this approach, or mostly most of the approach, you have to do the reverse engineering and find out what components are used. Here as well, from grooming calls and all these three conditions, you can at least find what exactly is going and how you are using Service Cloud in your project. Okay, not 100% again, but at least a little bit. Okay, and from there, you can connect the dots using user stories assigned to you and you can complete the project not 100% again but a little bit here and there okay so yes you can do it this way at least it might take you a little bit near to your goal okay that's what i said and the third and the final way to do is by connecting to a ba team okay let's say dev team is not responding qa team is not responding or anyone is not responding and there is no document at all you can go to business analyst team Okay, now here, if you have a business analyst, analyst team in your project, it's pretty straightforward. Their job is to explain you. Okay, their job is to give you KT about that user story. They won't give you KT about the whole project, but yes, they will give you project uh, KT about the whole user story. Okay, the user story that might be getting assigned to you. So here, you can reach out to BA team again, ask for functional overview. Okay, they surely have a document of their own. Okay, BA team. Without a functional overview, BA team cannot even function at all. Okay, so they will have a document for functional overview, at least a diagram which can help you a lot. Okay, and the BA team can quickly get you through this uh, functional overview of the document, and then you can understand the flow of the project, do reverse engineering again, and get the tech KT as well. Okay, so this is the sorry, yeah, this is the third and the final way to get things done over here. Okay, so these are the three different ways which I can think of that like which will help you if you have no KT at all from your customer or from your dev team at all. Okay, if you found this video helpful, I request you to please like this video and do subscribe to my channel.